Hi guys, um, I'm joined here with Glenn and Vinny. How are we feeling? Great. Um, awesome. Hi. Right. Can I get you guys to say, <laughs> just say like? Like. like. Comment. 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 Subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah, love boys. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. These guys have been absolutely amazing. Peace, guys. Thank you. So you're probably thinking, is this video clickbait? But I actually did shoot Glenn and Vinnie Maxwell's wedding. What's happening guys? Coming at you with another video. I know it's been a hot minute since we last spoke, but I thought I'd make this really great video today, uh, which I'm super excited by because I happen to have photographed uh, the South Asian wedding of Glenn and Vinnie Maxwell uh, in Melbourne uh, a couple of weekends ago. And I'm finally, finally getting around to actually making this YouTube video and documenting that entire journey. This for me perhaps would be the biggest wedding I may have captured in terms of the couple themselves. Um, and in my career and therefore it's something that I'm incredibly proud to share with you guys as a behind the scenes I'm gonna dive straight into the photos. We're gonna talk about the two events The first was the Mandy and the second was the actual wedding itself uh, The Mandy I didn't take out my GoPro because I was a bit sort of concerned about you know having a camera at a very home event and you know I, just, I, I understand it was a bit more private So I just thought I maybe might just sort of reserve that out and just share with you some of the photos But then for the actual wedding I did have a GoPro which I'm gonna take you guys behind the scenes uh, and show you exactly what it is that I captured and documented. But before I get into that, if you could do me a small little favor, just a, just a tiny request. Um, if you could just press that like button, it's just slightly down here below somewhere. Uh, if you could just, just tap it, just like, just nudge it a little bit, like just, just give it a little bit. And, mm, uh, that'll help out the channel a lot. If you want to comment, comment down below something really positive and nice, that will also be great. And if you want to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with whatever other celebrities I happen to capture. <laughs> Kidding, I just, I probably won't happen. But let's get straight into it. So the first thing is, is the actual home event for the Mendy. Now the Mendy for Glenn and Vinnie Maxwell was just done at a home. It was pretty small, as most Mendys in Australia typically done. Um, we started off the actual Mendy by just taking solo portraits. So, so I dive straight in with Vinnie. We got a couple of her solo portraits um, just at the backyard. It was decorated with kind of like these, these umbrella looking things at the top, it was really cool. Um, the earring show is always my favorite one. Um, you know, it's just always, Doing one of these ones and smiling out to the distance and pondering your life. Mind you, photographers would request this for like five minutes. It's the most exaggerated, you know, earring shot you'll ever find. But it works and it's cute and we've got some great shots. Then we go into the swirl and twirl, which, you know, you always kind of like. Um, yeah, and that's Glenn and that's Vinny. We then went into Glenn's photos. He had uh, an Indian attire on, like this, this sort of Shedwani kurta looking sort of a thing, which is really cool. Vendors for which uh, you'll find in the description below, by the way. So go and check them out. Um, follow them. That'll give them a lot of support. Um, it's a bit different. He doesn't have cufflinks, but you can always pretend with Indian wear just to pretend like he has cufflinks and just get some cuffling shots. And also looking at his shoulder as well. It's just sort of like, yeah, pretty cool to do. When it comes to henna application, you, I typically don't take photos straight off the bat, like when it just starts, because you're literally only getting the bare essentials kind of put on like the, the stencil outline essentially we started off with just getting you know some shots here um the lighting wise was absolutely great we've got some great portraits of Vinny interacting with also her family members um getting candid shots of it being applied as well glenn was sitting next to her which is really cute um and yeah we get different angles from different sides we ended up getting some great shots and i was super happy with the way these these photos turned out and i absolutely love yeah how they how they looked so cannot complain and then we quickly took the couple out just before you you know the night ended uh, for five ten minutes just in the backyard and got some really like adorable like oh my god there's so much I'm just gonna die it was like really cute moving on now we come to the wedding so this part I will show you some parts from my GoPro where I've documented the entire event we started off with prep in this case you just want to get the bare essentials invites uh, perfume jewelry shoes um, stuff like that and we basically documented all of that through most of the morning itself. Here we get some makeup application shots of Vinny and also some groom prep shots of Glenn. So Glenn sat at the altar and then started doing the actual ceremony and rituals that entailed within a South Asian wedding. The good thing is, is that because um, everything was in the one area, I could easily go back and forth between Glenn and then Vinny. Vinny was also still getting ready at that point in time in the same venue. So we got some basic prep shots for Vinny, which I was super happy with. We had literally one uh, window, which was the side window. It's a small window where people could actually get ready in. So we used it to get all of our detail shots um, and just bridal portraits, I guess. Super happy with how these photos turned out. Absolutely in love with them. 
And I think I love the black wall with the side window light, which was absolutely phenomenal. So for me, that was something that I really like, you know, floating in front of. Uh, I do enjoy the dark and sort of moodier um, vibes and concepts within my portraits, but uh, this is where I sort of get to see it come alight. Um, the hardest challenge, I think, from all of this was that this wording had a lot of cameramen. Um, from people who vendors had brought, you know, photographers. Uh, obviously, you had the videographers who had bought extra staff men. So, the biggest challenge with all of this is just trying to maneuver through everyone and give everyone each other that respect to photograph. But it, it is really difficult when you know you, you're there to do a job and everyone's there, sort of like, how do you sort of balance that? But we ended up getting some great portraits for the time that we had. At some point, Vinny then came down, um, escorted by sort of her aunties, and she was then taken to the front of the venue where she would be in interacting with Glenn. Um, now they did the garling exchange, which is always, always like the best high energy event that happens within a winning. There's like so much chaos and emotion happening. You just want to sort of like, like just run and gun and shoot everything that you possibly can. So I was just like trigger happy going absolutely ape shit crazy. So, you know, got some really good shots here. Um, detail shots of Glenn and then the actual application. Usually they always lift the bride and groom I've realized. So you want to make sure that you have a 28 to 70 or like 24 to 70 rather um, and zoom completely wide out, get wide shots and tight shots wherever you can. Um, super happy with these black and white portraits as well. And now it's just about having fun. Um, you know, as you can see, all the shots that I'm showing you now would just be details from the actual event, getting candids, getting uh, a lot of emotions, specific close-ups of what's actually happening as well, just to document a large part of um, each of the particular things that happen at a wedding. At some point, so Glenn then ended up getting changed and so did Vinny, which was cool. So, so there are certain weddings within South Asian um, weddings that have uh, an area where the bride and groom get changed, as in they'll stop mid-ritual and then they'll go get changed and they come back. This was, I guess, the halfway point of the actual um, wedding itself. So as you can see here, here are some portraits of um, Glenn. And then also here are some portraits of Vinny in their second outfit. By far, one of my most favorite things within um, the ritual aspect of um, a traditional Hindu wedding would be the, the fere, or where they take, you know, the, I guess, how do I, how do I explain this? They take, like, circles around the fire. Um, typically, there's four circles that's done. Correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry, mom, if I'm not getting my Hindu rituals right. I'm sorry. I'm pretty sure there's four. Although people think there's seven, but there's not. I think there's actually four. Anyways. Um, they're taken around and there's just a lot happening that, you know, they're always really smiling and laughing and like, you know, really candid. So you always want to just like constantly just run everywhere uh, and shoot as much as you possibly can. Now, typically within a South Asian wedding, they also have games that they play. The most common one is where like a priest drops a ring in like this, this, this little bucket sort of a thing. And then the bride and groom have to find it first. Um, but in this case, they had a coconut that they were rolling towards one another, which was super cute. I've never seen that one before, though. Um, and it was just really, really random. I've never seen a bride and groom play with a coconut. Um, so anyway, it's got some great shots of that. So that was really cute. Now, here was the exciting part. Afterwards, I was really trying to gun for a post-wedding photo shoot. Typically speaking, you have on a normal wedding day, about one to two hours on a location post an actual wedding. Unfortunately, we only had 20 minutes. Was I stressed? Shit, yeah. Was I concerned I wasn't going to get as many shots? Of course. Right now, I'm taking you guys to the front of the venue where we had uh, the garlic exchange happen. We used the same area to do the post-wedding photo shoot. Now, around here, I was able to basically switch to my 85mm, shot pretty wide open at 1.4, and then just started getting as many couple portraits as I possibly can. One, just for one, just for one. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I just want you to grab his arm because his arm's already bending like this. It's just perfect. Fantastic. You're going to bend the knee like this. Just going to, yeah, fantastic. And I'm just going to push you guys a tiny bit towards this side. Fantastic. Gorgeous. Glenn, just look at Vinny. Vinny, oh my God, just look at me. Yeah? Gorgeous. That's it. Yeah, I like that little cute laugh. If you can just that one more time. Three, two, one. That's it. Gorgeous. Look at each other, guys. That's it. Put um, face Glenn like this, hands on his chest. 
gorgeous. Grab her, squeeze her towards you so she passes out. Fantastic. Close your shoulder, close it. Yeah, keep going and look over your shoulder at me. That's it. Ah, gorgeous. That's it, gorgeous guys. Give her a kiss on the forehead, mate. Eyes closed. Fantastic, stay there. Um, walking shots, which are my absolute favorite. I've been doing this recent thing where I've been shooting on like diagonals now, and I kind of like it because I think it gives like more real estate towards a photo, but also shows a different angle. Food for thoughts, let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't, don't know. Fantastic. And now pivot towards me, kids. Gorgeous. Pivot. Pivot, pivot. Gorgeous. Give her a kiss on the forehead, mate. That's it. Look at each other, guys. Oh my god, uh, so madly in love. And that was it, and that was the wedding. And just like that, it's all done. Two days, gone, Pfft, done. See you later, ta-ta, bye. How do I feel? My gosh. Um, super excited, super excited. When I, I, I posted a selfie just with, with the couple on my personal Instagram, and I had a flood of messages come through and different people supporting me and like sending all these amazing, lovely messages. And for all those people, thank you so much. It means the absolute world. Uh, by far, I think this will be the, the biggest highlight of my entire career. When I was coming back from Melbourne to Sydney, I was sitting at the airport, I had a bit of time and I was just reflecting to everything that has sort of happened. For those of you who don't know my journey, um, I actually started off as a 21st photographer. I was only literally doing birthdays. And the thing was, I wanted to get into weddings. I wanted to be a wedding photographer. I just didn't know how. And I struggled so hard to get as many couples as I can. And I shot a ton of free weddings and I, a ton of things that I didn't want to do, but I did anyways, to get to this position that I'm at today. And I'm forever grateful and, and humbled by the fact that I got this opportunity. If someone told me, you know, when I first started out, I'd be photographing Glenn and Vinnie Maxwell's wedding, would I believe them? I'd probably be like, cool story, bro. That's, that's really funny. But now that I look back at it all, I'm just... I'm still like shocked. I'm like, holy shit, like I actually captured their wedding and it was so great. Glenn and Vinny were absolute sweethearts to work with. They were so down to earth, so sweet, so, I don't know, just, just normal people. And I think when people know that, you know, celebrities have a status, they, they automatically put them on a pedestal. And to an extent, I got a bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was just like, holy shit, I really don't want to screw this up. Um, but you know, when you just be yourself and you also see them being themselves, you kind of just take a step back and breathe you know you just like sort of take it all in and go okay cool let me just have a great time and show these guys what i do with all of the couples that i photograph and um how i have a great time with them that was it i don't really know how to end this video other than saying um yeah big thank you to glenn and Vinny for having me capture this special day uh, it was one of the most memorable moments of my career and i got to be part of their special day um and i'll forever cherish that that's it guys. I'm just gonna just gonna cut it here. Don't know how long this video was, but if you guys enjoyed it thoroughly, you made it to the end. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I will see you guys in the very next video. Peace.